Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 298. Sum of numbers with units, digits, K. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, show me some love after my four penalties that'll probably cost me a lot of rank. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think about this problem. Um, so this one, there are a couple of things to consider. And, but really, at least for me, the way that I did it was just a lot of edge cases. Um, and I think, to be honest, like I got four, four wrong answers. And it's not a, a, a straightforward one for me anyway, but it's not that bad. It's just that, um, it's just that I was sloppy, to be honest, right? Um, I, I Both sloppy and I was underestimating this problem. I, I think I was, you know, it's a cute, and this is just a little bit um, meta analysis, right? Um, and we'll go over the problem soon. I mean, I, I, if you're new to the format, I usually go a little bit about postmortem and my thought process before ex the explanation. But yeah, for this one, I, I honestly just over, or sorry, underestimated the difficulty a little bit because it's Q2. I'm I'm good, quote unquote. Uh, like I got this. Um, so I was trying to solve it as quickly as possible. And looking, judging by my submissions, um, I got it. My first attempt was in three minutes into the problem, right? Give or take. So yeah. So the key thing to note is that well, a couple of things. One is K is zero to nine. Numbers also is from zero to three thousand. Um, so there are a couple of things you can do. Um, the thing that I would say, um, and I missed a couple of edge cases. One that I thought about, and then. I have four penalties. Two of them, I just kind of, I was rushing it at the way end. I was like, okay, I fixed this thing. And then I didn't check it again for another thing. Um, and I think that's basically the biggest issue. Um, okay, so there are some edge cases. One is, one is as noted here, if number is zero, that means that it's just zero. You can return it really quickly. That's what I did. Um, the second one is kind of a little bit trickier, which is if K is equal to zero. If k is equal to zero and the number, um, if the last digit is zero, then you can just return one. Because for example, if the answer is like 150 and 10, uh, or just zero, sorry, then your one number will be 1050. So the answer is one. I got one wrong answer because I returned zero here because I was just rushing and I wasn't thinking and I'm being dumb. Um, and otherwise it's negative one because there's no way to get to it. Um, the other thing to notice is just that after that, um, well, numbers are 3,000, right? So it's very small, so you can definitely, you know, it, um, and then becomes, okay, let's say, right? Let's say we have the number 36, right? And you, you have nine. Uh, okay, let's actually say some big number in 36, right? So let's say you have nine. Well, nine, one number, nine is obviously not good, no matter what the prefix is, some prefix, plus some other number nine, plus the nine, right? And of course, in this case, after four of these, you have six in the last digit. Um, and you could prove this is fine. Um, and then some numbers in before this, right? Um, so then now, that's pretty much it, really. You can fill th this up with any number you want. And the answer is just four because, not any number, but there are like a lot of possibilities that can fill it in. And that's basically the principle, is that to try to keep doing that. And... I actually now now that I I, I kind of say articulated it out loud, um, is actually that's pretty much it, right? And if you times it by ten, uh, it 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 loops, right? So then, it, the answer can only be from zero to ten. So you try to test whether zero to ten is okay. Um, I kind of should have done that now that I've. I mean, maybe I can do it again really quickly. Um, so if number zero is equal to ten, then uh, for yeah for i in range of 0 to 10 yeah 10 and then i could have written something like uh, k times i if this mod 10 is equal to num mod 10 otherwise we return negative 1 at the very end if this is the case and k sub i is less than or equal to num then we return i right i think this should be okay maybe um, unless I'm missing another edge case. I'm, I think I'm missing the edge case. This should be one, I think, because this already has zero. And because I'm missing the edge case where 
if you have 5 and 0, um, this will return negative 1, uh, but before, hmm, maybe that's not true. Well, that's fine. That's expected. If I had 10 and 0, this will return 1, but, if I, but before, I would have returned 0, I think. So yeah, so I think now this is okay. And now that I, I kind of think about it this way, um, so I think a lot of the, let's see, right? Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, whoops. Okay, I have to do it inclusive. So still sloppy here, uh, as you can see, 10. So yeah, but as you can see, it's a lot easier. But so my original code, which I was going to explain, but then I didn't, is basically this thing, but in way more code and way more confusing code. Maybe I just didn't get it. But the idea there was that nine times itself by um, 2000, or sorry, uh, uh, nine times like 300 and something is going to be over 3000. So then this condition will always be false. But now that I, I actually, um, you know, typed it out for y'all and scanned it out for you, um, I see that obviously this loops after 10. Um, so that's basically the reason why. Um, yeah, and if you wrote this code, this I can see why people did that in a minute. But instead, I got it with four penalties because I was, uh, I was tr I, the, the way that I wrote it had a lot of edge cases. Uh, if you care about it, but yeah, but this is going to be oh of ten, so that's going to be pretty, pretty fast. Um, just I'm, I want I do want to show you a little bit of my code just to kind of my my other code, even though I got to accept it. Um, just to kind of show how easy it is to make mistakes because I, I needed this extra if statement because I didn't write this in a good way. And as we saw, I wrote if current is greater than num, but each if statement was a penalty basically, right? So that was a little bit sloppy. But yeah, in terms of big, big O, this is going to be O of 10 or maybe O of K if you want to call it that or something like that. Uh, I say 10 is fine, but... Um, well, O of B, where B is the base, and base is 10, so maybe that's a better way of doing it. Um, and assuming that this is O of 1, which eh, when you're always dealing with number manipulation, it's always a little bit tricky. But yeah, but if you have this code, this would be pretty, pretty, pretty good. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. You could watch me solve a live very sadly during the contest next and see all those penalties as I was doing them. Um, I was, I definitely, like I said, I was underestimating. And then to be honest, I was just, I got tilted uh, probably halfway through. I was like, ah, oh, I, I, you know, I, I, you get in this, this mindset where you're like, okay, I really, this is easy. I really have to solve it fast. And then you rush yourself faster than you need to be. Um, or maybe not you need to be, but it doesn't matter, right? Like it doesn't matter how fast you need to be. You should go as fast as you need to solve it on the first go or on the next try. And I kind of, you know, like instead of spending maybe say three minutes to verify it was right, I got three wrong answers, which cost 15 minutes instead of three minutes, right? So anyway, uh, hopefully I get a little bit better next time. But anyway, you could see me what uh, solve this problem during the uh, contest now. A little bit slow on this one, to be honest, but that's fine. Make sure you get it right. Hmm. Okay, let's see how do I do this. Have to have only two digit number.
Can K be zero? K can be zero, so this is infinite. I am silly. Um, eh. This is expected as negative one. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm yikes. Eight. Yeah, this is the next time is sixteen. Wait, why is this well? I'm actually also have to do nothing. What am I doing? <clears throat> Ten and eight. Oh, wait, I messed this up. Uh, I think it's because of the zero case, really. This is so silly. Um, let's see. Okay, negative one, then negative one, and then pi. Hopefully, this is good. It's very easy to make. Oh man, didn't I have this? Oh, I misunderstood this. The zero case. Mm, if k is zero, it's not that it cannot be possible. So. Mm. It's not one. It's this way now. Oh, I have. Oh, I, I took out the case, but I needed to put it. Oh, man, this is a disaster. If k is 0, 0, if num. I, I don't know why I took it. I took it out because I had a wrong logic, but. Did this worked before then? Oh, because it was 10 instead of a random number. I am silly. Okay. I misunderstood this. Oh, oh my. Mm. Wow, I am like, yikes on that one. That was like five penalties or something. I was just really rushing. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm and the explanation. Um, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.